Good afternoon. My name is Darian Robinson. I am the senior class president and will serve as the mistress of ceremony for L.W. Higgins High School commencement program for class of 2023. We are here today to celebrate a milestone, our graduation. We would like to thank our family and friends who have been beside us throughout our lives. We also want to express our sincere gratitude to our administrators, teachers, and all who have supported us on our journey. Please stand and bow your heads for a moment of silence. Let us now pause for a moment of silence for reflection and respect. Please remain, y'all may, y'all can lift your heads up. Please remain standing as Heaven Gerard sings the Star Spangled Banner. Amazing job, Heaven. Please remain standing as our senior class chaplain, Errol Banks Jr., gives the invocation. Good evening, family, friends, and faculty, and graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2023 as we sit here and at the end of our 12-year journey of hard work. I ask that you please bow your head and close your eyes. First, I just want to thank God for allowing us to be here today, for bringing us to this point of our lives and keeping us on in trade and never path. Thank you, God, for surrounding us with people who always been on our side. Thank you to our parents and teachers for caring and loving us and not getting up on us. Continue to surround us with people who will challenge us and push us to do better. I pray that we continue to grow wiser and stronger each day in mind and spirit. We do this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much, Errol. Please remain standing as Chardé Bridgewater leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Shirley. Now you may be seated. The welcome address will be delivered by our senior class vice president, Elizabeth Ramirez. Good afternoon, everyone. Fix this. I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to the L.W. Higgins class of 2023 graduation, also known as the actual last best class. Well, class of 2023, we finally made it to the day we've all set on our calendars. We've overcome every obstacle they've thrown at us this year, and we should all be proud of ourselves. Four years ago, we were just an annoying freshman class, and now four years later, we're claiming the last best class title. We're all leaving Higgins to start a whole new journey in life. High school has been such an unforgettable experience. While it's had its downs, it had a lot of ups. This experience prepared us to move forward with our lives. Let that path take you to great places, no matter where that path is. Graduation is not the end goal. It is a groundbreaking barrier that will send us farther in life. The road ahead of us will not be easy or even always pleasant, but that doesn't mean stopping the hustle. We should all keep pushing no matter what. Don't underestimate yourself or what you could accomplish. Strive for greatness and achieve success. The next stage of our lives will begin soon, as soon as we walk through the doors with our diplomas in hand and smiles from ear to ear. While you move through life, remember those that push you to, to this moment. Your parents, siblings, friends, loved ones, and the teachers who were always around when you needed support. Everyone in your life is very proud of you for making it through and accomplishing what others probably thought you wouldn't. You made it through COVID, hurricanes, worldwide shutdowns, mental health crises, and much more. So be proud, class of 2023, we made it. Although our experiences were different, we are all still a family. We have created this bond, attending and now graduating from L.W. Higgins High School with our heads held high. And so, on behalf of the class of 2023, we would like to welcome you to our graduation ceremony. Y para todos mis latinos, los logramos. Thank you, Elizabeth. Now, Ms. Stephanie Dillon, Assistant Principal, will introduce our distinguished guests. Hey, baby. Good evening. At this time, we would just like to recognize all of our distinguished guests who are, who's here tonight to help us celebrate the class of 2023 from L.W. Higgins High School. We have Dr. James Gray, Superintendent of Jefferson Parish Schools. Laura Roussel, Chief Academic Officer. Mr. A.J. Pete, Chief of Schools. Ms. Gabrielle Misfelt, Chief of Staff. Ms. Ladina Carter, Executive Director of School Support. We have Mr. Ralph Brandt, President, District 7. Mr. Derek Shepard, Vice President, District 5. And Mr. Clay Moise II, District 4. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Dillon. Now, Principal Dwayne Foray will now give the principal's address. Welcome, family, friends, distinguished guests, to the L.W. Higgins class of 2023 graduation. We are here to celebrate an incredible achievement of our scholars. Completing your education during a pandemic was no easy feat, but here you are, ready to take on the world. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. As you embark on this new chapter in your life, I want to remind you that, not, spite, not in spite of, but 
Because of the challenge thrust upon you over the course of the past few years, you have gained valuable skills, experiences that will serve you well in years to come. You've learned to adapt to new situations, to be resilient in the face of adversity, and to think creatively to find solutions to problems. These, these are skills that will serve you well as you navigate the world after Higgins High School. As millennials, you know strange, knew no strangers to disruption and change. You've grown up in a world that is constantly evolving, where technology and innovation has transformed the way we live, the way we work, the way we connect in our lives. And yet the pandemic has pushed you to confront new and unforeseeable obstacles, testing your limits and forcing you to adapt to circumstances beyond your control. Most importantly, I want to encourage you to stay true to yourself. In a world that can be noisy and chaotic, it, it can be easy to lose sight of what's important to you. But it is your values, your passion, your, your unique perspective that makes you who you are. I want you to embrace them and let them guide you as you move forward. And I want to say, congratulations, class of 2023. I can't wait to see you move mountains. Thank you, Mr. Foray, for that unique message. We love you, Mr. Foray. Now, Ms. Wanda Jacob, assistant principal, will present the salutatory award. Good afternoon, members of the graduating class of 2023, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and distinguished guests. As we gather here today to celebrate the achievements of our graduating class, I would like to take a moment to recognize the salutatorian for this year's class, Alexander Acuna. <laughs> Alexander. The son of hardworking Mexican parents, Annabelle Garcia and Miguel Acuna, is a shining example of determination and resilience. Alex, despite facing numerous challenges, Alexander has always embraced hard work and has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to his goals. He has been imprinted with the belief that success, that success is earned through perseverance and that no one will ever hand anything to him. From a young age, Alexander recognized the value of one's effort, which has now propelled him to the beginning of an exciting new, journey, new chapter. As he prepares to embark on his college journey, Alexander has chosen Louisiana State University as his destination, where he will pursue his passion for architecture. Throughout his time at the L.W. Higgins High School, Alexander has displayed his academic proudness. He has maintained a GPA above 4.0 while also expanding his knowledge through dual enrollment courses at the University of New Orleans. He now finishes with an impressive 4.375 GPA. This outstanding achievement has earned him the distinguished rank of number two in this year's class of 2023. Not only has Alexander excelled academically, but he has also made a significant contributions as a student athlete. As a member of L.W. Higgins soccer team, he showcased excellent leadership as one of three captains during his final year. Under his guidance, the team achieved an impressive feat, securing their second ever appearance in the state playoffs. Please join me in congratulating Alexander Acuna on his remarkable achievements. Dear fellow graduates, faculty, staff, families, and friends, I'm incredibly honored to stand before you today as a Higgins Class of 2023 salutatorian. This moment is a culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice 
uh, not just for me, but for all of us here today. As we gather to celebrate this milestone in our lives, I am reminded of a quote by the great philosopher Aristotle, who once said, we are what we repeatedly do, therefore, excellence is not an act, but a habit. Meaning that each and every one of us has a potential for excellence, and it is through our daily habits and our actions that we can turn that potential into reality. Throughout our time at Higgins, we have been encouraged to pursue excellence in everything we do. We have been challenged to step out of our comfort zones and to approach each new challenge with an open mind and a willingness to learn. We have risen to that challenge time and time again. But today is not only just a celebration of our academic achievements. It is also a celebration of the people we have become over the past few years. We have grown in countless ways, both personally and socially, and we have developed skills and resilience necessary to thrive in a world that is rapidly changing. As we prepare to embark on the next chapter of our lives, I urge each and every one of you to remember the lessons we have learned here at Higgins. Pursue excellence with a passion. Remember to prioritize your health, your relationships, and your happiness. Embrace diversity and always be open to new perspectives and ideas. And above all, be kind, be generous, and be the change you wish to see in the world. So to my fellow graduates, I say this. Congratulations on this incredible achievement. Let us celebrate this moment with joy and gratitude, and let us continue to strive for excellence in all that we do. Together, we can make a difference and leave our mark on the world. I'm excited to see what everyone will accomplish. Quisiera tomar un segundo para darle las gracias a mis padres y a mi hermano por todas las oportunidades que me han podido dar, especialmente a mi mamá y mi papá por todo lo que han sacrificado y todo el esfuerzo que han dado para que yo y mi hermano pudiéramos estar donde estamos ahora. Los quiero mucho a los tres y a seguirle para adelante. We made it, class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations, Alex, on your achievement. Next, she will also, Miss Stephanie, Stephanie Dillon will also recognize the valedictorian award recipient. Good evening. Today we celebrate the exceptional achievements and remarkable dedication of an individual who has truly exemplified academic excellence through their educational journey. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to introduce to you the valedictorian of the L.W. Higgins High School graduating class of 2023, Ms. Rosa Isola Ferret Baron. Rosa, Rosa, I've been practicing this name, girl. Rosa has been a student in the Jefferson Parish School District since she was in kindergarten. She, who was born to two Mexican immigrant parents and is very proud of, she who was born to two Mexican immigrant parents and is very proud of her Mexican heritage. She has six siblings and although she comes from a big family, she is very reserved, shy and appreciates her solitude. Her family would describe her as intelligent and friendly, especially with her nieces, whom she babysits often. Rosa's four older siblings have all attended and graduated from Higgins High School. Two of Rosa's older siblings are among Higgins' esteemed alumni, both finished in the top 20 of their class. Clearly, Rosa was influenced by their academic prowess. Soon, her younger brother will begin to matriculating at the L.W. Higgins as a freshman. She hopes that he will continue the family's tradition of the excellence established here. Rosa, a student in leadership, was elected student of the year this school year. Rosa's current GPA is a 4.468, and she has managed to hold the rank of number one for two years. She has shown that through hard work and dedication, anything is possible. During the pandemic, Rosa helped give food out to the homeless and hungry. She has done many projects with, the, with Waymaker Ministries, which has contributed to her overall well-being. 
In the summer, she will begin working with the church, and in the fall, she will begin attending Delgado Community College to study nursing. She hopes to continue studying at UNO afterwards or to start her own business. Now, please join me in giving a warm round of applause to our valedictorian of the L. W. Higgins High School graduating class of 2023, whose remarkable achievements and outstanding character have earned her this well-deserved recognition, Ms. Rosa Isla Ferretti's Baron. Good afternoon, graduating class of 2023, teachers, administration, parents, family, and friends. Today, as we begin to close one chapter of our lives, we open a new one. I believe I can speak for most when I say that today is a day filled with a plethora of emotions. Maybe you feel sadness because we are leaving behind friends, teachers, and mentors, or maybe it is excitement as you embark on the next phase in your journey and you are excited about the new beginnings on the horizon and all that's to come. It is safe to say we are all on an emotional roller coaster. If I am being honest, when I found out that I had to deliver a graduation speech, I freaked out. While this is an immense privilege and honor to be here speaking in front of you all, it is still a bit daunting. I am not usually one to speak in front of crowds, yet here I am. Class of 2023, it is okay to be afraid and nervous. Most of us have been dreaming of this day since we were freshmen and we have finally made it. Some of us have our future set in stone while others don't have a clue on what the next step might be. Many of us will go off to college while others will go straight into the workforce. No matter which decision we may take, please take solace in knowing there is no definite right or wrong way to achieve your goals and progress is not always linear. As I reflect back on our freshman year, many of us were very naive and young. When we first began this journey at Higgins, we didn't know many people. However, as time progressed and years passed, we have developed bonds with people and built friendships that we will cherish forever. Just when we were settling into our freshman year, it was interrupted by a global pandemic, COVID. None of us expected this. We all had a vision of how our high school years would go. We were expecting pep rallies, homecoming dances, but COVID changed this. Although it wasn't perfect, there were memorable moments. We all remember having our sophomore year classes online. Many of us would join the meet only to go back to sleep. Yes, I was guilty of that one myself. Then came junior year. It would be, in fact, be our first full year of school where we experienced a normal classroom setting. And finally, our senior year arrived. I am sure I speak for us all when I say it was filled with memories and good time. Senior trip to Florida, prom, and homecoming. Life is all about balance, coupled with the good times and the memories that bring a smile to our face, there were some struggles as well. In addition to learning to navigate high school, we had to accomplish this task during COVID. And then there was Ms. Roman's biology class and Ms. Reese Adams' Algebra 3 class. <laughs> Although in the moment we were stressed, we were able to push through. Some of us will probably continue to experience stress due to certain classes or situations that may arise in our life. That is life. It is all about how you handle adversity. Might I add, we, unlike any of our precedents, are uniquely built for struggle and adversity. Through perseverance and dedication, we can do it. During this journey, I feel very fortunate to have encountered so many that made this, day, this moment possible. Mr. Pay, my leadership teacher, and Ms. Reese Adams, thank you for your dedication, the time, and selflessness that you exhibited as our class sponsors. I would like to recognize and thank our counselor, Ms. Mache, for ensuring we are here and graduating today. I would also like to thank and show gratitude to our principal, Mr. Foray, and our assistant principals, Ms. Dillon, Ms. Jacob, and Ms. Dinicola. I would also like to thank each and every one of our family members that have supported us unconditionally. Without you, we wouldn't be celebrating this accomplishment. I would like to take this personal point of privilege to extend a special thank you to my family. I am proud to say that I come from a Mexican background. My parents have sacrificed so much in their life to be able to give me the education that I have received. They moved to a foreign country and learned a new language and culture. My parents left behind their own parents in order to give their children a better life. 
I am so grateful to have loving parents such as mine. I strongly believe that with their continuous support and my hard work, I can be successful in life. I would like to dedicate the following words in Spanish to my family. Quiero darle las gracias a mi familia por siempre creer en mí, mis papás que son mi motivación para seguir estudiando, mi hermana Blanca por siempre ayudarme cuando la necesito, mi hermana Ana por siempre estar ahí cuando necesito a alguien con quien hablar y cuando necesito consejos. Sé que mi familia me ha ayudado tanto para que yo llegara a estar aquí y estoy muy agradecida por tenerlos aquí conmigo hoy. Sé que muchos no tienen las mismas oportunidades que yo tengo. Sin embargo, todo lo que he logrado es gracias a mi familia, especialmente a mis padres que se sacrificaron tanto por mí. I know that many of us will lose contact with each other and there is no way to prevent this since it is a part of life. We will meet new people every step of the way in life. Some of us may make decisions that temporarily lead us down the wrong path and we will have to self-correct. We will lose friends but acquire new ones. What is important is for us to remember that these things are all part of our journey. In any situation that arises, good or bad, it is important to understand that they all work in conjunction with one another to make us individuals. Finally, I would like to thank the most important persons in this auditorium, us. We work hard to get here and all of our hard work has finally paid off. Mark your path, Hurricanes, congratulations class of 2023. <laughs> Thank you and so much, thank you so much and congratulations Rosa, you deserve it. Now, Mr. Foray will present the Principal's Persever Perseverance Award. The Perseverance Award recognizes students who have exhibited true perseverance to make it, make it to high school graduation and have plans for their future. Often these high school students have difficulty, life issues to overcome. They have shown courage, resilience, and perseverance while remaining dedicated to their dreams. This year's Perseverance Award winner is Heaven Gerard. Congratulations so much, Heaven. Ms. Donna Mache, Guidance Counselor, will award the Elaine W. Duvick Scholarship. Okay, good afternoon. The Elaine, Duvick, the Elaine W. Duvick Scholarship was established for the class of 1985 by the faculty and staff of the L. W. Higgins High School upon the retirement of founding principal Mrs. Elaine Duvick. The scholarship is given for academic excellence and service to school and community. Thanks to alumni and retired faculty contributors, this year's award will be valued at $1,200 per year or $4,800 over four years. That is 12 times the original award given in 1985. Put your hands together for this year's 2023 recipient, Myra Churchicello. Thank you, and congratulations, Myra. You deserve it. Now, the point we all been waiting for, the reason we came. Period. Miss Stephanie Dillon and Miss Wanda Jacobs 
will announce the names of the students who have successfully met the high school graduation requirements established by the state of Louisiana and the Jefferson Parish School Board. Mr. Dwayne Foray will present the diplomas and our distinguished guests will acknowledge them. These are our honor graduates for the graduating class of 2023, Rosa Isla Faritiz Baron, Alexander Acuna Garcia, July Nicole Kiara Barber, Grace Barnhart, Daniel Berrios, Myra Churcherello, <laughs> Nael Joanna Gonzalez Hernandez, <laughs> Jasmine Jones, Markeith Jones, Kevion Mary Lewis. Ashley Lopez. Cameron Janae Patterson. Alexa Rodriguez. Gabriel Savoie. Ethan Hugh Tran. Katie Ann Williams. Sabrina Shaw. Darian Katrina Robinson. Charday Marie Bridgewater. Arrow E.J. Banks. <laughs> Heaven Gerard. Asharia Williams. Elizabeth Elaine Ramirez Madrano. Trayvon Terrell Johnson. Arnaya Shalasia Alexander. <laughs> Tillman Allen. <laughs> Tari Javon Allen. <laughs> Kevin Edward Alonzo Garcia. <laughs> Amy Carolina Al Alvarado Juarez. Takara Destiny Antoine. Kaya Marquise Austin. Keandra Kiara Babino. Kiara Jane Barrera. Ray Anthony Bartholomew. DeAndre Raquan Bell. Ethan Anthony Bess. Jacob Nicholas Berg. Go ahead. Joshua Bradbury. Craig Bradley. Brandesha Brown. Everett Joseph Butler. Jeremiah, Jeremiah's Titus Carey. Clarence Carter. Sonia Alexa Chacon Lucero. John Brady Childress. Jonathan Tyrone Clayton. Deborah K. 
Collins. Devonte Collins. Kayla Jean Collins. Eliane Carrera Pimitel. Darlinis Ivette Cordell Vargas. Jakai Curtis. Palazzolo McCarty Davis. Josepha Diaz. Javen Dixon. Kal Kalena Doherty. Dowry Droolert. Wesley Duplessis. Haley Veronica Durham. Kalise Lakai Edmund. Anjane Alize Emilian. Brittany Lizette Espinoza. Angel Faircloth. Mariah Finley. Avian Fleming. Drew Flowers. Nishan Gilmore. Monet Goldman. Gavin Antonio Gomez. Janae Gray. Oh. Israel Latre Green. Jacoby Aaron Green. J. Daniela Gifaro Cortez. Alex Gutierrez Pineda. Shannon Harrison. Terrell Timothy Hannibal. Faith Marie Hayden. Sadie Hernandez. Jaden. Anaya Jaden Hernandez. Kaya Jasmine Hinton. Cornell Howard. Darian Derek Howard. Kylie Quavon Hubert. Joshua Virgil Jackson. Je Gregory Jacob III. Angeli Jimenez Chavez. Amiron Ashley Johnson. Ariel Keyshawn Johnson. Deontay Johnson. Jamaya Tatiana Johnson. Kashe Amari Jones. DJNA Jones. Deosha Jones. 
Genesis Jones. Celeste Isis Lee Key. Cameron Lanessa. Elian Landix. Reginald Lloyd. Landon Seth Long. Kiana Lyons. Yadlin Mannon. Edgar and Bury Marte. Tremaine Martin. Corian or Leith Matthews. Charles McBride. Mariah McCants. Crystal Meads. Dariani Mejia. Leonardo Mendoza. Armando Meza. Mason Monteforte. Isaiah Moya. Darian Murphy. Jay Nunez Roa. Kevin Ortiz. Alyssa Ubre. Courtney Pierce. Jonas Pierce Jr. Mia Jean Pilkington. Malik Joseph Rachel. Manaya Raglan. Dorian Delano Roberts. Brianna Rochon. Tariana A. Rose. Ronald Ruffin. Zaliria Santiago. Felicity Rosalie Savoy. Carissa Nicole Swest. Cartier Scott. Derek Jacqueline Brandon Scott. Fred Anthony Selvage. Quindell Simmons. Anastasia Smith. Maya Ayana Smith. Rain Michael Smith. Toshiba Sonye. Janae Swilly. Isaac Talisma. Robert 
Joseph Terrebonne. Selena Marie Thomas. Denaya Ashanti Thompson. Jacob Toronto. Trin Tran. Licia Vasquez. Christopher Kirstever Velasquez. Alex Ventry. Cadence Vincent. Kaylin Michelle Volpe. Denaja Jean Washington. Rochelle Washington. Lachey B. Weber. Jabari Anthony Williams. Kiara Marie Williams. Alicia Wilson. Darren Joseph Wilson. Nicholas Tyler Wicks. Miracle Mariah Wright. Kentrell Michelle Young. Dylan Prescott Anthony. Mr. Dwayne Foray will lead the changing of tassels. So make sure it's on the right side. Changing it of tassels. Turning the tassels, you have completed all the requirements forth by the Louisiana State Department of Education and the Bessie Board, Hurricanes. You may now turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. And now, class of 2023. And now, class of 2023, for one of my last directives. Please return to your seats and settle. We will now have the national anthem. Upon, the national, upon completion of the national anthem, we will then process out family, friends, and guests. Family, friends, and guests. We will now do the national anthem. After that, our students will process. Please allow them to process and stay in your seats, and then you will be able to celebrate with them right outside the doors. The senior class who are now part of the L.W. Higgins alumni, please stand. 